Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter. Today we're looking at a bunch of stuff from half inch rails. And um, Sam over there sent me some various things to show you guys. And there's some really interesting solutions to some problems that we have. Um, the first of which is using lenses and follow focuses. If you don't use a follow focus all the time, it's kind of silly to have a more permanent solution attached to your lens, especially if you do stills. You don't want this giant, you know, ring. So uh, and the other issue is, you know, aside from the Cinevates, which can be kind of finicky to set up, there isn't really a good, quick setup when it comes to focus gears. But Half Inch Rails has a good solution. They have these zip tie gears. Now, I've done a video on these a while ago, but they've improved them a little bit, and they've added a couple different models. So, the first one is the fat one, which I really like for pretty much any lens. And these are really wide, as you can see. They're not as narrow as the standard zip ties. And um, what's great is they're very, very flexible. So instead of buying a small, medium, and large, you have one size and you can cut it to fit. So this one you can see, I've got it going all the way around this big 80 to 200 and uh, it perfectly fits. So there's no gap there, which really works well with a lot of lenses that you know really need a lot of coverage with the focus gear. So that's one. The other one are these smaller ones, same kind of idea. You can cut them to fit and then you use zip ties to attach them gives you a little more flexibility. These are gonna work great for those smaller prime lenses. This next accessory is probably my favorite out of all the stuff uh, from Half Inch Rails because it's simple and it solves a great problem. I really, really don't like shoulder pads because they have a big module to add onto your 50 millimeter rods. They add a bunch of weight and often they just get in the way and make your rig very bulky and, and nasty. So Sam has come up with a great little product here and it's just rubber flexible 15 millimeter rod padded uh, accessory and you can stack these up. So as an example, here's a really small rig and um, I wouldn't want to build this up into this massive thing, but I don't just want to rest this on my shoulder. So we can take one of these guys and just slide it onto the rods here. And uh, you can just get a bunch of them and stack them up like so. And what's cool is if you look closely, you'll notice that one side is higher than the other. And that means it's going to work really well resting on your shoulder because the human shoulder obviously isn't perfectly flat. So I'm just going to put another one on here. And uh, what's great about having them thin like this is you can customize how you put them on the rig. So here, um, obviously this base plate area is blocking where I want the shoulder pad. So I can put three of these puppies on the back and then throw the fourth on the front of the camera mount. Just slide it all the way down. Boom. So now I'm going to throw handles on here just to show you guys the whole completed rig. So this is really going to uh, give you a very fast, very affordable way to get a shoulder pad. So Here's what it looks like all put together, and it's it's really, really comfortable. So it's easy to throw on there. It uh, It's cost effective. They're around 10 bucks a pop. So for $40, you get four, but I don't even think you really need four. Um, so it's a great little setup, and I really like that a lot. And finally, we have the bumpers. This is a similar material to the shoulder pad. And the idea here is to add a little bit of safety and neatness to the end of your rigs. So here I've got a giant uh, 15 millimeter setup and often you'll have these things hanging out even farther depending on your setup or you know what rigs you're using so the bumper just slides right onto the end and uh, is going to give you a nice safe rubberized edge as opposed to you know a very sharp 15 millimeter stainless steel rod that could possibly hit somebody so Great little tool, and all this stuff can be found at halfinchrails.com. He has a ton of other gear, so I encourage you to go over there and check that out. So those are just a few little solutions for budget filmmakers looking to uh, find solutions to a few of these problems.